How do water and minerals get to the leaves? Although roots can exert a slight upward pressure, it is evaporation of water from leaves, a process called transpiration, that moves water molecules and ions up from the roots. Transpiration exerts a pull that is relayed downward along a string of water molecules from leaf to root. Hydrogen bonds cause water molecules to stick together, a phenomenon called cohesion. As each water molecule evaporates, it pulls on the next water molecule and it pulls on the next. This relays the pull of evaporating water molecules all the way down to the roots. The adhesion of water to walls of the xylem cells helps to keep gravity from pulling the water molecules back down. As each water molecule escapes from the leaf, it pulls a column of water molecules upward. Solutes are transported along with the water. Thus, the plant xylem uses the movement of evaporating water molecules, cohesion, and adhesion to draw water and dissolve minerals from the soil into its roots and upward to its leaves. Hot, dry, windy conditions increase transpiration. If not enough water moves up from the soil to replace the water lost to evaporation, the plant will wilt and it could die. How does a plant prevent excessive water loss? An opening in a leaf is called a stoma. Stomata are generally open during the day to allow carbon dioxide into the leaf, where it is used in photosynthesis. While the stomata are open, water moves out of the leaf by transpiration. This allows the plant to move water and minerals to the leaf, and the evaporation of water also functions to cool the plant. If hot, dry conditions require the plant to conserve water, guard cells close the stomata. This is a trade-off. Although closing the stomata reduces water loss, this also slows down photosynthesis and may cause the plant to overheat.